Good morning, campers! Welcome to Camp Camp Season 2, Episode 7, Bonjour, Bonquisha. A character that I thought was just going to be a one-off, but instead actually came back. Who knew? I've gone a week without spoilers for this episode. Because, as a lot of y'all know, every other week I'm unable to do videos because of personal reasons. But, I catch up as soon as I can. Usually on a Tuesday. And then, most of the time, upload on Wednesday. But, I've managed to not hear anything about this episode. Except for the fact that Bonquisha is in it. Surprised me. And that... What was that Flower Girl Scout's name? I can't remember... Tiffany, I think it was, but I know one of them is it. So, without further ado, I'm going to stop rambling, and I'm going to start the episode in three, two, one, go. <laughs> what the hell's with all the noise? Yeah, you're ruining Space Kid's run of the gallon challenge. Oh, oh Space no. Kid, that... Oh, never mind. Oh, you threw up in your helmet. Sorry, kiddos. Guess the old Catmobile's just acting up today. Hold up. Flowers? A boutonniere? What are you doing? Going to prom? Oh, no. I've got a date tonight. Date? Date? You? What? Is that really so hard to believe? Honestly? Yes. Yeah. I really thought it was just some sort of Ken doll situation down there. Well, you're wrong. <laughs> I thought it to be a bit of a hopeless romantic. Oh, hopeless for sure. Same. So, who's the lucky lady? How to meet her? Have you? <laughs> Well, technically, I held hands. Plan, but I consider our first meeting to be a premiere of Preston's play. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, the little wait, kicky feet. Wait, 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 wait. wait what wait, are you wait, doing, wait. David? Are you dating Bonquisha? Oh, you remember her? This is no gag reflex. We've been seeing each other this whole time. Sure have. Really had all. Oh, Max has <laughs> lost his <laughs> shit. Like Zoom stands for and fun. <laughs> Cunt Smasher. I'm supposed to pick you up for another hour. Fucking Bon Bon! David, I'm sorry, but this ain't working out. Cop Factory. Not man enough for my shit. What do you mean? What are you saying? I'm saying it's She's all. She's breaking up with David. you, idiot. I'm breaking up with you. I did it! Yeah! Go, Space Kid! <laughs> <laughs> so, David was dating Bonquisha. And now they're broken up. But more importantly, Space Kid did the Gowan Challenge! That's amazing! And that covers the basics of the Heimlich maneuver. David, would you mind demonstrating what we've learned on the dummy? <laughs> sure thing, go counselor. Oh God, here it comes. Yeah, that's. First, I knew it. Your arms around them tight, just like this, just like Bonquisha used to. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, David. And then you hold them close. You hold them close and never let go, otherwise they'll leave. <laughs> when? Weren't we supposed to be done with first aid camp yesterday? Nikki, I am just one woman. I can't be expected to take care of stupid children and all you campers. <laughs> I know yeah. Two people who can cheer you on. Ben and Jerry. Ben and Jerry. Ben and That's it. Depressed David is officially worse than happy David. But can you really blame the poor soul? Yes. Yes. Jesus Christ. It's been over a week and he still loses his shit over every little thing. A week? David, I know you're pathetic, but come well, on. I wanted to get my mom back, he sent her flowers and chocolate and then some lawyers. And then I think she got a new car. What about a cute <laughs> puppy? Or That's a cat. material possessions. A true romantic would recite a poem. Or a song! Ooh, yeah! Playing a song from a stereo held high above his head in a declaration of love. 
You should just get in, like, super good shape. Or maybe the opposite? Let's just say a terminal illness really seems to bring people together in the movies. My <laughs> mom just got pregnant. Guys, we're not just got pregnant. That'll do it. Ideas and movie cliches. Well, why don't we try all of them? Bad point. What my dog does is his own business. What the? Hit it. Um, but mainly me. Quick, to the ring! Everything sexier in the ring! Valid point. But I, I, don't know, I don't know what kind of hokey religion this is, but I tell you what I told them damn Mormons. I'm interested but not ready to explore myself spiritually. Now get the hell out of here! Our profession of All love! Right. How could it have failed? Because of everything that happened. Why are you losers in here? Sasha, Aaron, Tabby with two eyes. As if anyone forgot. Oh my god. Did anyone else get the idea of that they were the canker sisters from Ed, Ed, and Eddie? Right. Hey, y'all. Oh god. Neil, run. What are you doing here? Daddy Dad cookie sale location. Obviously. Her people love trash food. It's like their thing. I want to punch them in the life. face so bad. I hate that, that valley life. girl talk. It ain't that easy, princess. Um, of course it is. We're girls. And we would know. I mean, they could provide us with a female <laughs> perspective. I'm a female. Yeah. And <laughs> we have the same reaction. <laughs> You are female in biology alone. another girl. We have to have him. My sister told me. Okay. Sasha? Aaron? Neil? Bella, two eyes. Shut up. I can't believe I'm saying this, but will you help us? Of course. For what? For 500 cookies. Deal. Step one. We reserve two tables at the hella nicest restaurant in town. The Delta only Delta bar. And Bill Quasha to the same restaurant, but seat them at different tables, making sure neither of them sees each other until. Step three. A beautiful woman suddenly approaches David and the two hit off right away. Bill Quasha sees David get mad jelly and demands to take him just, back. Just. I gotta hand it to you, ladies. I think this might actually work. Are y'all little darlings ready to order? No! Actually, can I get a refill on water? So where are you going to find David's beautiful woman? She's already here. How do I look? Oh, God. Day over 11. OMG, thank you. I moisturize. We read a ton of Cosmo Girl to prefer this, too. Tabby, hush. Perk him up. Hey there, oh, Shelly. See anything you like? Oh, no. Now, do you want to? <laughs> Any more where that came from? Please, no. Neil, I've never seduced a man before, but are they doing it right? We've got a bigger problem. Bonquisha hasn't looked up from her menu since she sat down. She's missing everything. Hmm. Not really missing a lot. Oh, or do I want salad? What do we do? I don't know. Get up there and cause a scene or something. Oh, look at you, little man. Do you want to be a waiter when you grow up? Oh, God, no. Oh, you are oh God, no. Honest. What? Oh, what no. I'm hungry. Hungry for that D. <laughs> for that D. Hey, I think I caused a scene. Back you fuck off my man, you skank. <laughs> Oh! Holy fucking shit! Oh my goodness, are you okay? Oh, oh, break it up! Don't make me use my crossfit on you. My crossfit. Tabby, seriously, what the fuck? You got blood on my boot. The flower scouts? Max? Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> he beat me to it. <laughs> Trying to get you and Bonquisha back together so you quit sobbing all day and get back to your usual, somehow less annoying self. Back together? 
Oh, kids. I, I'm sorry I haven't really been myself lately, but that's no reason. Is anyone going to check in on Tabby? Well, what? that's really fucking hard. This is really fucking hard. You have a fork in your eye. What did you expect? You did it to yourself! Who we fall for, and we don't get to choose if or when those feelings go away. But if they do, and you find yourself alone, that shouldn't take away the good times you did have together, and that shouldn't take away the things you learned about yourself. So did they bang? It's okay. Something tells me they bang. Lost, but eventually you should try to be thankful for what you gained from the experience. And maybe, with enough time and enough understanding, you'll find that you're not alone, but rather that you traded a romance for a friend. A friend that still wants the best for you, even if they had to hurt you by saying they weren't the best for you, nor you for them. Oh, David, your words have touched me in a place your hands never could. <laughs> wow. Just wow, man. That was beautiful. Um, thank you? Thank you. Gosh, I can really see why you and Bonquisha were together. She has excellent taste in men. You seem like a real stand-up guy. I'm sorry, who are you? Oh, where are Her my boyfriend. Parents? My name's Jacob. I'm Bonquisha's new lover. Oh. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> what happened? I'm so understanding! Well, I did say healing takes time. <sighs> Go, David! Yeah! <laughs> I said it. Pause. Now, see, as soon as the sappy moment started, I normally hate those moments. But I saw everyone getting all wide eyed and in anticipation to see what would happen. My thought is, what's going to go wrong? What is going to go wrong? Didn't expect the new lover to come by. And didn't expect David to go ape shit on him. Oh my god! <laughs> I never thought I would ever say it, but go David! Yeah! Beat the crap out of the guy! Woo! I'm honestly proud of him at that moment. I've never been proud of him. Until that particular moment. That was incredible. By the way, Tabby's eyes should really be looked at because. I haven't seen a fork in the eye gag since that movie Haggard. Anyone seen that with the Jackass people? Before Jackass? But. Yeah, he came out of that unscathed, but it was also a movie. I'm assuming she's gonna come out unscathed because it's just a cartoon. But, yeah, I'm sitting there going, is anyone going to check her eye? This is a pretty touching and very, like, romantic-ish type situation. I'm trying not to say what I want to say, but I'm sitting there the whole time just thinking, her eye still has a fork in it. There's still four prongs deep in her cornea. Someone should probably call a doctor at this moment. And then they just started, they just started beating uh, Bonquisha's lover with a chair. I'm just like, yes. <laughs> yes. Because if anyone would know the rage you feel seeing a woman you like with another man, I would know. But yes, never let that situation happen because no matter how over it you are, there's still that tiny little part of you, that one tiny little speck that you didn't even think was there, deep in the back of your mind, that once you see something like that, just, and you're done. Just completely like, Oh yeah, I'm completely over it. It's been a while. It's been a good while. Who cares? Then you see it, you're just like, <laughs> but anyway, I'm rambling at this part. This has been the Mad King Paradox S. I will see you all later. And I really want to know. I'm assuming they didn't bang because she said that. Your words touched me in a place your hands never, your hands never could. But seeing Bonquisha, her license plate said "cunt smasher," her shirt said "dick cock factory," 
and her trailer number was 69. Clearly, she a, she's a very sexually active woman that was dating David for about an entire season's worth of time. Like, it was like halfway through season one, and we're seven episodes through season two. So, about a season's worth of time per that. And they didn't do anything. Like, I find that very hard to believe. Plot twist! She was dating David, but she was sleeping with her lover because David wasn't man enough for her. Which, obviously, we can all see that. He's pretty pathetic. But anyway, I'm done rambling. I'm just going to end it here before I start going off on other tangents. So I will see you all later.